20 minutes. But first, uh, well, let's get, tell you the stocks of the day. What really moved, how much and why? Hormuz is standing by with exactly that information. Hormuz, over to you. Well, you know, Prashant, you are highlighting about the PSU stocks and <laughs> unsurprisingly, most of the list comprises of that. I start off with Hindustan Copper, that 11% higher in today's trading session. It was the best day in two years. And the stock has doubled this year, but it is the second instance in the last three years that the stock has doubled because the stock had doubled in 2021 as well. Aurobindo Pharma is another stock that has doubled this year. That had another good day as well, almost 6% higher. There was a Biggest single day gain in five months and the 150% surge that it has seen this year is the best calendar year performance since 2014. IRB Infra was the other outperformer today, almost 7% higher there, 40% up in 2023 so far. And it is the fourth straight year where the stock is delivering positive annual returns. Speaking of defense stocks, Coach and Shipyard made the list. It signed the contract with the government as well. It's up 141% so far in 2023 and it was also the biggest single day gain in four months, 6% on Cochin Shipyard as well. Linde India was the other one. That stock did well. There is almost 3.5% higher. And, but it has been an underperformer recently. It is only the second instance that the stock gained in the last nine trading sessions and it is now nearing its 100-day moving average, which is a resistance over the last few trading sessions. Now, the PSUs, they had a bit of a correction yesterday, but these stocks uh, staged the rebound. But before that, delivery is the one. The second best day of 2023, 6% higher for the stock. And it is now breaking above its 200-day moving average of 387. I spoke of PSUs. They had a bit of a bad day yesterday, but all of them sta uh, staged the rebound. IRCTC, NMDC, NHPC, BHEL, All India was up yesterday. It was up today as well. All of them having a good day. And lastly, Credit Access Grameen, that was the stock. That was a bit of an underperformer today, but it is down for the seventh day in a row, the longest losing streak for the stock in three years, and it has also broken below its 50-day moving average in today's trading session. Back to you. All right, uh, Hormuz, uh, thank you very much. That's a crisp rundown of everything which happened in the market stock-wise. We have uh, Shilpa Rao. The for more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV18 on all of our digital platforms.